Okay, this is the second video. Um, I just got finished making the first video that you're probably watching right now. And uh, I didn't leave any thumbnails or anything to go to the second video. But this 94 Suzuki Swift GT, I want to kind of really just display all my talents and skill. What I mean by that, I got 14 years at working at Circuit City, installing car stereos, alarms, remote starts, things of that nature. I have three years of customizing cars, and I'm talking Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bugattis, working at a company called Project 2, Com Project 2 Customs in Waukesha, Wisconsin, which is no longer in business. Unfortunately, my best friend that had that business passed away several years ago. So, but I um, uh, love you, Andy. Uh, miss, you, miss, you, miss you a lot, brother. Um, and then I've been spending the last 12 years uh, in automotive refinish, working at a body shop painting cars and things of that nature but i wanted to kind of take it to the next level so i moved over to being a body man and, and being able to repair what you see here because for you you might look at yourself like oh man that car is total and then this and that and all over i have the knowledge the tools the skills to fix this car back to 100 percent factory original where you would never know the car was ever hit so why haven't I done it? I'm a lazy SOB and it's costing too much money and I'm a perfectionist. So I want all OE parts. The hood is like four or 500 bucks. Each fender is like two, 300 bucks. Each headlight's 175 bucks. That uh, impact bar, the black thing that you see in the front, that's what's called an impact bar. Uh, that's $179. The absorber, the little styrofoam piece that goes in the front, that's like $87. The front bumper itself was like $500 and they're out of stock. So they're not making them anymore. After 10 years, of production uh, at the end of production they stop making parts so now you can only get parts if you go to a junkyard or something of, of that nature um, but what are some of the things I want to do I want to pull out this little wimpy engine that's a hundred horsepower and 95 90 pound feet of torque oh, wow. it actually lasts this time um, I showed you in the last video so just take a look at the last video I want to take it to a company uh, called RD I think it's RD Suzuki RD Re resources out of Florida and they're gonna boost the engine up rebuild the engine from top to bottom and then taking it from 100 horsepower to 350 brake horsepower, uh, boot, uh, change the gears and things in, in the transmission, and hopefully increase everything and make the car. I want to lower the car about an inch and a half, front and rear. I want to put in bigger tires. The tires on there now are like 14s. Uh, the biggest you can fit on here without looking goofy would be 17s. So I want to put on some 17, 205, 40, 17s all the way around. Um, I want to keep it white. I really like the white, but where it says here, uh, 16 valve dual overhead cam Suzuki Swift GT, I want to. That's a sticker. I want to take that off and actually paint that into the car. Um, I would like to change the handles, but it's not like the biggest thing if I keep it that way. The biggest thing I want to do is put on a panoramic sunroof, um, and I want to custom make it in house uh, and just really really make it real really nice but I pretty much want to keep the body the same keep it white lower a little bit better tires I don't know if I want a five spoke wheel or a ten spoke wheel or what um, but I don't want it to look like a, a, a rice racer I want it to be kind of a stylish elegant hence stylish elegant car um, that you don't take for granted um, it's already got the fall lights the headlights from 94 uh, from 90 1990 to 94 are plastic the 92 ears, they were actually glass, so I would like to get some 92 uh, style headlights. Um, as far as the interior, I'm keeping the seats and everything exactly what they are. The only thing is I want leather. I want to put in leather seats front and back. Uh, and stereo wise, I want an Alpine double den. I want a, um, an Audison bit 10. And I want to have a, probably a total I haven't decided on the number, but I definitely want more than 10, 12 speakers, 20, 21 tops. I want to put a center channel, speakers into the pillars and the doors and the back, which is which is uh, the back seat, and two 10 inch sub with a grand total of probably two or three amplifiers. One amplifier dedicated to the sub, one amplifier dedicated to the front and rear, or one dedicated for the front and one dedicated for the rear. I want sound quality. Uh, I was taught a long time ago by a couple professionals, Dave Fishman, Rivera, uh, uh, Alma Gates, and everybody, true bass is felt, not heard, more so than heard. So I want you to feel the bass uh, coming out this little hatchback. Um, I would like to put on different ground effects to kind of give it more of a lower profile. Uh, put like a uh, carbon fiber bra on the front 
uh, diffuser on the front and a carbon fiber diffuser on the back. Um, I try to integrate it into the factory design and look and style. That's not my profession or my forte, but I know some people who can do that. Um, I just have to sit down with them and we need to figure out what we're going to do. Definitely tint the windows um, and, you, and just keep it the way it is. I would like to do a one-off carbon fiber hood. Um, nothing dramatic. Uh, it's really dirty. I usually wash this thing once every six months because you know it's kind of useless to wash a car that's running. But if, if you can see here, there's a there's an, a, a, an impression on both sides here. I would like to cut right along there and raise it up about an inch or so on the new hood. Of course, not this one. An inch or so, and put little vents on the side of it about halfway down. That's it. That's all I want to do to the hood. Nothing, nothing major. So, I'm getting started in my YouTube channel. I'm learning how to do things. So, I'm going to go now to my girlfriend's house in Racine, about 34 miles away from here. And I'm going to sign up for a uh, Patreon uh, uh, um, site uh, and, and see if I can get some sponsorship. If I can get about, say, 10,000 subscribers... Uh, and maybe about for this these last two videos that I've done in the last 10 minutes 20 minutes now um, Get about say 1,000 views. Hey, I'll be happy because all the money that I make from this stuff because I t truly don't understand the full uh, Spectrum of how I can make money on YouTube um, But I know that with patreon I can get people to subscribe to my channel and sponsor my channel. Um, things I need is like a computer so I can do proper editing, a uh, decent camera, um, and things of that nature. And then whatever money's left over goes towards improving this car. And in return, I will teach people everything I know. I've worked on, uh, wow, Gilbert Brown's car. I've worked on the, um, Milwaukee's Brewer, uh, Grand Slam champion, Jeremy Burnett's. I uh, did a couple of cars for him and his girlfriend. I don't know if he's still with her. Um, had a chance to work on a couple of Oprah's cars, but not Oprah's cars directly, some of her staff. Um, we built, huh, and this is the biggest. Uh, I was part of the build at Project 2 to build ESPN's King of Fandom. Look that up on the internet, look that up on whatever, and you'll see a Ford F-150 uh, uh, dually truck or not a dually but a, a, a extended cab uh, work truck that we converted into ESPN's demo vehicle motorized canopy and tunnel cover and things of that nature and that tunnel cover uh, cap we made from scratch so that's not something that you can go out and buy we took chrome molly steel bent it and welded it together uh, put wood, you know, put put a, uh, a case on it and fiberglass it. The damn thing weighs about 700 pounds. But anyway, um, to see my talents and skill and why it's important for me to have you subscribe and like my channel, because what I want to do is be able to help people like you, whether you're 16 and you got your first car or you're 75 and you're trying to restore that old classic car. I have all the knowledge to help you do that at a third of the price if you took it to me or another professional uh, and maybe one-fifth the cost if you took it to uh, a super expert such as George Panier or Chip Foos uh, or people or, or Ken Diggett um, I can help show you how to do it and then you can use your own imagination and add your two cents into it and make it your own and save yourself a lot of money because everything that I'm doing is coming out of my pocket that's why this puppy is sitting here uh, my life is uh, occupied being a, a dad and a grandfather and, and a boyfriend and soon to be husband uh, to the people in my life uh, but I told myself at the age of 50 I was gonna you know what I'm either gonna fix this damn thing or I'm gonna get rid of it James Jr. is expecting to get this car uh, sometime in the future but not until it's fixed so subscribe like the video uh, as soon as I set up my patreon I'll leave a link on either this video or another video where you can go and get behind the scenes details because when I do what, what's, what I'm doing on YouTube you're going to get just like the cover piece but what I'm going to do behind the scenes um, where people are not going to know you know he said well how did you do that I'll explain that but you have to be part of my Patreon family in order for me to reveal the secrets and anything new that I discovered because I'm the type of person I don't just like well this 